Hey guys, welcome back to Cal with Game. Today I am joined by Seb. Seb, he's here. I'm here. Look at this dude. Um, he's got a cool deck that I I like because it's a deck that I would play. Essentially, <laughs> it's very um. Decks like this are definitely something we have in common in terms of our play style. Yeah, they're, very, they're very fun. They are fun. Um, not for anyone else, but for the person playing it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, so. Let's just jump right in. Yeah. Yeah. So, Eldritch Trap deck. Eldritch Trap. Let's go. So, first off, you're only playing two Eldritch Lord. You said um, you side one of them out sometimes, right? Like, if you don't think it's going to get banished or something, didn't you? Or am I mistaken? Nah, you're tripping. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you'd want to keep these in just because you need it to play the deck. Yeah. Um, so, you're only playing two because you're also playing Card of Demise in this deck. Ooh, yeah, um, along with those, you're playing the Gamma Package. Yep. It's just a really good going second or even going first, so your traps resolve. Very good. Um, and along with that, you're playing one Lilith. Um, you're playing. A, <laughs> you're playing. You're only playing one because you don't want to see it with Card of the Mize, obviously. But it's very good at just you can use it to get any trap, fix whatever traps you have. So why don't you want to see it with Card of the Mize? You don't want to see multiples, I mean, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, so, for the spells, you're playing three extra because you don't really care about your extra deck, and one card of the mice. Oh, oh, I love this card. Yeah, it's Come so back to three. Honestly, it's yeah. time. Yeah. No deck would abuse this, really. Um, Too much special summoning. Yeah, exactly. It'd just be like trap deck. It'd just be this deck. Yeah. And like Subterra, maybe. No, Subterra specials, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. No. Yeah, Subterra would use it. Yeah. Maybe Strikers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Strike out of everything. Strikers is what got yeah. this card banned. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it hit. Anyway. Um, so along with that, this is the Eldritch package. You're playing three Scarlet. That's it for the Monster Summoner. Uh, you're playing uh, three Conk and two Hauk. Just uh, popping's very good. And like not all decks are Grave Reliant. So you're just playing three and two. So you don't brick seeing too many of the little ones yeah um it is a trap trick deck so you're playing three trap trick because everything in your deck is a target yeah pretty much half the deck is a target to well, 29 cards yeah exactly oh it, it can only set the normal spells oh okay yeah, maybe yeah. yeah so these are the normal spells you're playing that you can set with it three torrential you can set eldlixir as well right yeah eldlixir yeah. as well um three ice dragons prism and three, Punishment. Punishment is very important in this deck. Um, you're using a lot of... You have a lot of different targets in your extra deck, and you use that to, around plays. Um, like, you can pivot with this card, depending yeah. on what you have. Um, a tech card I'm playing is Broken Line. Sheesh! <laughs> it's been going around a lot of um, Eldritch... It's been going around. Been going around. <laughs> a lot of Eldritch decks. Um, essentially, it's good going first. You set it in the middle column or the two extra deck columns. Hopefully, they summon or just activate a powerful spell in that column or a monster. Because people usually normally put it in the middle columns. Um, and or going second, you can just set it in the column where a boss monster or a spell and trap are. And just get rid of them when they try and activate their effects. Yeah, this card's... It's pretty nice. Saucy. Um, yeah. And so that's one of the counter traps. You're also playing three strike. Very good card. And three judgment to finish off the deck. Yeah. That's banging. Yep. Let's um, see the extra, even though it doesn't really matter. But <laughs> I think it is like if you were to take this deck and build it on yeah. Dueling Book, you'd need to see the extra. Yeah. So extra, you got two of the Tri Brigade Link 2. Um, when you send this on punishment, you get to draw one card and then put one card from your hand onto the bottom of the deck. So it's very good if you don't have any other targets, really. Um, one Omega for, um, you can make it with, um, Cyframe, Gamma, or you can use its grave effect to shuffle back something in your opponent's grave. Yes, card. you can make this Cyframe card with <laughs> Cyframes. Yeah, the, the grave effect's actually really good with this one as well. Yeah, because, yeah, it yeah. shuffles back stuff you need. Yep. 
Four in opponent's grave. Um, two Pegasus for when your opponent doesn't have another card you want to pop. You just want to have it to protect your back row. Um, and you can also do it in like chain links where they activate Duster or something. Yeah. You can pop one of their cards and have, send this and then shuffle another card. It is really good. Uh, two Intus. I would play three, but I can't find one. <laughs> I'm going to hook you up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, one Apcalone. Um, you'll notice we don't have any targets in the main deck, but we do side one target, which we'll see later. So you essentially send this with punishment and then add the target and send it to grave. Um, we are playing Waking the Dragon, so in the side deck. So these are our two targets. Hopefully they don't get banished off extra. God, this card. This card is so very good. good. I might consider playing one or more of these because it's just so good. Just to make sure you never banish it off extra. Yeah. yeah. Um, for the just toolbox cards, we have one Constella Pleiades, uh, for the rank fives, uh, two Link Spiders just to get your trap monsters off board, and a Unicorn and an Access Code just for going for game. Yeah, no, of course. It's a banging little extra deck. Yep. Um, that's it for the extra. We'll go into the side. There's a bit of spice in here as well. But yeah. For, yeah. But for the normal cards, we have Evenly Matched. I considered maining this instead of Judgment. Ooh. But um, just because like, you're not always going to win the die roll. Yeah. But I think just Judgment's just a better call. Yeah, I think so. I think unless you're playing a go second deck, you don't ever want to really main those. Yeah, exactly. Um, for going first, we play two Annie Spell and one Imperial Order. So good. Imperial, um, it makes your opponent set their um like harpies or their lightning storm yeah or just like shit like invocation or whatever yeah um and once they set that you pop it with heavy storm duster and it's also good against Sheesh. trap decks <laughs> hell yeah um so for waking the dragon we got two waking the dragon <laughs> <laughs> i didn't really think that through but yeah that's it we're only playing two because we're also playing the one Aerial, oh, to, um, uh, add to hand and discard off App Cologne to banish three cards. From yeah, the grave. it really screws with thing stuff like Tri Brigade, yeah. Dragon Link, anything that anything yeah, really. Anything, yeah, um, it's very good. And then this fucking card. And then we have three. It's the first time I've ever seen this in a deck. Witcher Strike. <laughs> this is nuts. Um, it's really good. It's like um. You can do it off trap trick when your opponent tries to negate something. You just be like, okay, I'm just going to destroy everything you have. Cool. Yeah. When you resolve this, you're probably going to win the game. Yeah, 100% because it destroys everything. And their hand. And their hand. So no, unless you come up against a rogue Cosmo or like... <laughs> a grave deck or something, I don't know. I don't even know what else would do yeah, it. Like nothing a, really. Maybe like a Cosmo or like a Yang Zing. Yeah. Yeah. You can... Oh wait, would they all miss time? Oh, they would, they right? They would, yeah. <laughs> That's epic. But um, that's been the list. It's uh, it's doing pretty well. It, it is doing pretty well. You're going like X1, most locals, right? Yeah. And like pushing for that sort yeah. of final game as well. And considering you don't have all the extra deck cards you want really in like, or even the main deck cards, nah. right? So, because um, you can run a small Dogmatica engine in there, I believe, right? Yeah, Dogmatica would be a good thing to incorporate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, Seb, thank you for the list. Thank you, guys. And uh, if you've enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, come join the Discord. And we will catch you next time. See, See ya. ya.